Krause, thank you. All new this morning, we have a progress report on the years long I 30 widening project in Saline County. Now we finally know when exactly it will be finished. Unfortunately, it's not going to be anytime soon. Wake up Central's Michaela Johnson is live along I 30 in Benton with the long awaited completion date and why it just keeps getting pushed back. Michaela, good morning. Good morning, Hayden. Daily commuters along I-30 are due for a break. This construction has been causing headaches since 2019. Now the finish line is inching closer very slowly. We now know the expected completion date is late 2024. And if you've been driving along I-30 since 2019 or have just been keeping up with this project, you know that is not the original completion date. There have actually been a couple of them, but RDOT says that this has been a hefty project to complete. Dave Parker with RDOT says that the I-30 Saline County project has been a bit more of a challenge for them and the contractors more than what they expected it to be. Now contractors have asked for multiple extensions because of the project's complexity. Once they got in there, contractors found that there was more pavement work that needed to be done, more sub subsurface work. And Parker says as of today, the project is around 70% done and he wants local drivers to know the frustration is shared. Just understand that this is a, a very complex project and a very, uh, very important area to us and we want to get it right. And sometimes that means uh, you know, taking things a little slower. So I appreciate the patience. I understand there's been a lot of headaches through this one, but I feel like we're finally rounding that, that turn and, and can kind of see the end of this. So. By the end of the project, five and a half miles of I-30 will be widened to six lanes and drivers can expect three new interchanges, replacing five bridges along the way too. Now this project has a price tag of around $189 million, so it's surely a big project for RDOT. The Parker also tells me before that completion date in 2024, expect more of those overnight lane closures, especially as they try to avoid the morning rush hours, which is what we're in the midst of right now. But reporting live in Benton, McCamlin Johnson for Wake Up Central.